All right, folks, BDC coming at you from my craft pit in wonderful Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I'm going to work on some shots, work on some different sets. Um, I'm going to you know, get, get ready for uh, boys from Craft Nation that are coming in town this week. Also getting ready for my little shoot with my, shoot around with my, uh, my pro player. And uh, with that said, uh, I ran through the rolls we did the other day. Uh, just the one hand, the one hand that got into the into the 30s, but I only took the first 20 box hits. Um, started with 600 and uh, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, 650 across. That's a uh, hundred on the four, five, nine, and ten, and 150 on the six and eight. By doing that, we uh, won the 20th box number that was pressed was hit. We had a total of. Uh, 15, 18, about 18,500 in the rack with another 13,500 on the felt. At this point, you would reduce and maybe come back, come off that, come down to maybe, um, um, I don't know, you know, you can go 6,600 across, something like that. If you want to do that or if you want to play nickel chips, $500 chips, you go like 30, 30, 3,200 across, something like that, and, and start from there for another 10, 15 hits. If the roll progresses, you know, you don't need many hits when you're starting, when you're starting at $500. To, to, now this was full pressing, full pressing the roll. Would have I could have just pulled everything off the table after the 20th roll and the 20th press, not the 20th roll, okay? And the, the hand would have netted um, right around 31,000 for a $600 risk. So do the math on that. Every uh, six hundred and fifty dollars is hundred percent. So every you know every thirteen hundred dollars is two hundred percent. I'm gonna say it's two thousand something percent gain. Okay. Obviously, you got to get to a twenty pressed hand. That's the you know that's the important thing. So if you work on your shot enough, you should be able to get there. It doesn't take it doesn't take much. You know it doesn't take you much to do that when you get there. Okay. It doesn't take. Now, I guess what I'm trying to say is you do not have to have these hands. You can have one of these hands. I mean, how many times does six hundred dollars go into thirty thousand? Fifty. You need to have one twenty hand and fifty hands. One twenty roll hand and fifty hands. That's it. That's the math. Okay. So with that said, I'm going to try set. I'm going to try a couple different shots here. First one, I'm going to start with the helicopter thirty-two thirteen. I put the set right here, 32, 13. Okay, so whether you're whether you're throwing them um, par, whether you're throwing them helicopter, whether you're throwing them inline, the sets the set's still going to be, you know, I'm stacking them obviously. So my my set after I set the 32, 13 uh, transposes for a helicopter shot. 6253. 6253. Sets transposes like this. 6253. Put it right here. Okay, so as long as I set the 6253 up, let's see how it does. It is the same. And the reason I'm using that third 3213 is there's only two sevens in that set. Four. This set is supposed to deliver the goods on sixes and eights. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna record all the rolls. I'm, I'm not here trying to do anything other than just throw numbers without wasted rolls. Throw numbers without the box, without corners. Okay. Easy four. 62, 53. And I'll work on my energy controlling it into the back wall. A little too much there, three. I want to soften that up a little bit. You know, my table's harder than most, so if I throw it too soft on my table, it's really soft. It becomes, I don't know, it's, it's just reacts different, so 62.53. That was the last row, three craps? I think I wrote it down already. Let's 
62, yeah, make sure I got it right. Okay, so. Face deuce again. So that right there would have been a $450 payout for me because Seahorn had a bar, we would, we, would, we would have been hopping a $30 hop. I would have done it for $30, he would have done it for $500. So that would have paid off $7,500 for him right there on that ace deuce. We'd come right back on it. 62, 53. So, 415. So I'm trying to control the energy of the wall. Got a little too close to the hook there. One more wanted to. six and eight yet, right? There we go. Nine. Okay, so that's looking a little better. So I'm going to be trying to toss them somewhere in the neighborhood of the I and the N and pass line down there. I wrote that last number down was a nine, right? 62, 53. Sixty-two. Oh, I had a timer going. I need to start that timer so I know where I'm at. Three, two, five again. This is where I think it's important to hop the five right here. It was 325. It wasn't a, it was not a 314, it was a 325. We rolled the nice over. Speaking of the timer, I think it just went off. Now it it has one minute left. Okay, so it was a three, two, five. So this is where we want to hop the five. When you have two fives in a row, two of anything in the row. Six, two, three, five. Five, three, eight. Hard four point winner. Okay, come out roll. Not seven. Got in the hook. Of course, I have a pin that doesn't write in red, so let me find one that writes in red. Oh boy. There we go. Still a red one on here. Okay. Well, good it's come out we're all right. Never said we were working. 
six two three five. out. Five. All right, now the five is a daily double play. This is a strong hot bet right here on the five. I'd be hopping the five right here. Right back. Oh, shit. After my last four, I threw a five. I threw a four, I threw a four and then a five here. You know, not, not counting the sevens and horns are invisible. So yeah, I repeated. Six, two, three, five. Okay, so. Five, three, eight. And we went five, eight on the last one. After the last five. This is where the sort of hard four follows the the hard four follows A. So this is where I hop the hard four. Let's give you guys a little tidbit of when I hop bets, in case you're wondering. You hop in the four right here. Hard four. Could play two way four. Or ten with the sister. Okay. <clears throat> Six, two, five, three, not three, five, three. Ten right back, six four. The ten is now daily double play. And every time I, want to, I see a ten, I want to hop the easy ten the very next roll. Whether it's, of course, I want to do it on this one as well because the ten just rolled. Nice out. Ooh, yo. It's still active. I still hop the 10 because it's a horn. So I just lost money. I lost uh, the money, whatever I would have hop on the 10. I lost it. So now I come back and hop the 10 again. But I also play the ace, deuce, yo, because I threw a horn. Almost got the hard ten. Okay, the eight becomes a daily double. We have two eights in a row. So now we would hop the three way eight right here. And eight come hard four, eight come ten. Hmm. Hopping the hard four is not a bad play either. Six two, five three. Dice out. Hard eight right back. Yes, sir. All right. That's where you make $30. This is what I was trying to get my boy to do the other night. When I saw the pattern, him to bet it for 500, I hopped it for a nickel, <clears throat> hit the hard six this way. I hit the hard 10 the same way. 
Um, you know, I got a measly $150, it's not chicken change, but the goal wasn't to make 150, the goal was to make 15,000 on the hit, on a $500 chip at 30 to one odds, okay? So, boom, we hit it here. So now we come back, we double the bet up. So if I had a $30 hop on this, $15 hop on this, whatever, $10 hop, you come back and double it up. If it's $5, it becomes 10. If it's $2, you should, you should, you should go to a nickel here, okay? And if you wanna take a slight hedge on your, on your hop, Put a tiny bit on ace deuce show. That's the only thing I would recommend. So if I have 30, I'm gonna do probably a, a $2 ace deuce flip. Prairie 15. So if I have 30, I'm gonna put $4 on it. I'll probably just throw a $5 chip out there and say ace deuce show split. All right, here we go. Dice out. Come on, 4-4. Four, four. Three, one, four. See, I said the word four, and the dice gods heard me, gave me a four. And it did come four, eight, four earlier, so if I'm playing two numbers here, I'm playing an eight and a four, and this, and look what hit. The eight and the four. Okay, those are the numbers that are following the eight. I'm not gonna waste any money on the five, the six, the nine, or the ten after that, after that eight, for that reason. So if I got person has $300 on the spread, take $300 and divide it between the four and the eight. Very simple. Maximize your gain. You're a skilled shooter, you should be able to do that. Why settle for one sixth of the payout? Because you got your money spread on evenly on six numbers. Dice out. Nine. Oh, I wouldn't have been on them. I wouldn't have been on that anyway. energy. Six easy. Four, two, six. Four, two, six. Six, two, five, three. Nice up. Ten on the end. A lot of tens with no points. That's good. That that's good. One, two, three, four, four tens. Easily a max bet at that. So tens follow the tens. So ten I told you earlier was a was the daily double. So we played. We hopped the easy ten right here for the comeback. I probably wouldn't put anything on the hard way. I'd go straight. Um, straight easy because that's how it's coming. So instead of going a two-way ten for thirty bucks, do a two-way ten, do a single ten, six-four hop for, for thirty. Dice out. Six three nine. So I threw a couple of nines here. I could 180 to set and hit the point. I got two nines in the last five rolls. Obviously, I'm getting a sister. I don't want to do it right now, only because I'm rolling good. But all I have to do is just take just 180 to set. 
Take this set and rotate it 180 degrees. Dice out. Ace and a deuce. Earlier I did two ace deuces in a row, so I come back and I hop the ace deuce right here. I don't want an ace deuce, but I don't, I don't want to waste a roll either. Feel me? Nice out. Uh oh, spiked. Five three eight. Six two, five three. Dice out. Yeah, bless it. Seven out. One two three four five six seven eight. I'm gonna go nine more rolls to get thirty six. So before I do that, um, I want to get off. I'm gonna show you something here. Okay. And then I'll just wrap this video up and I'll shoot those other seven shots because I want to see, I'm taking this set in groups of 36 so I can create my normal probability. So this, I had a 27 hand roll. Um, I throw a come out seven on roll number 10. Okay, and then I throw a come out five. So I lost that on two numbers there. Um, so I'm gonna take these numbers over. So. Obviously, beginning of the game, we're gonna work. We're gonna work on the come out. We're not trying to throw seven. Okay, I, I threw more than twenty box hits here. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one box hits. Now I gotta subtract one for that come out five because that's one you're not working on. So twenty. So we barely made it. So what does that mean? Let's let's figure it out and see what. Let's, let's take this, and I think I already fixed it because I wanted to keep track of how much I had in the fell here on this thing. One, two, three, four, five. It's 10,000. Five. Another nickel. Five black. Okay, one, two. And brown. 13,500. 13,000. Come. Okay, so let's set it up. Now I'm doing this because I'm practicing something for next week. Um, you know, if I have a 20 roll hand, it could be close to a 30,000. Let's see. Okay, come out four. We're going to full press to 300. Three crafts, three crafts, five. Page 140. We're going to drop ten dollars and go to one fifty and make it two fifty. Okay, we're going to drop ten dollars and bring it from two forty to two fifty. Next roll is a nine. Do the same thing with that. Okay, next roll is a five and then another five. So two fifty pays three fifty. So that's going to be three fifty and two fifty is six hundred. Okay, then then the next one gets that's eight hundred and forty. Eighty four dollars for ten. Eight hundred forty for. Um, uh, a 60 pays 84, sorry. Um, 60 pays 84, so 600 pays 840. 840 plus 600 is 1440. 1440, we need to add $60. So far we're into this 60. I'm going to put the money here. 1010 is called up here. We're into the 75. So we're adding 60, and we're going to take this bet to 1500. Okay? All right. So now we are at... The second five, and I threw an eight. Eight, we got 150, 175. It's gonna be three and a quarter. So now we're gonna go three and a quarter with a quarter change. So we're gonna pull a quarter off the, the debt here. Okay, and then a four, 300 pays 600. We're gonna drop 100 and go to 1,000. So now we're into this for 150 outside of our buy-in. Um, then we got then now, now that, that was a point. If you come out seven and a come out five, that five is not counted as a, as a progression. 
Next row in eight. So 300, 300 pays 350. We're gonna to go to 600 and collect the 50. Instead of collecting 50, we're just gonna take 50 off the deficit here. Okay, next roll is a 10. We have 100 on it, we're gonna full press it, 300. Next roll, another 10, 600. We're gonna add 100 and go to 1,000. Okay. We're not talking about the big right now. Then 11, and then an eight. 600 pays 700. We're gonna to go to 1,200. We have an extra 100, we're gonna pull 100 off the deficit since we owe it, we still got another 100. And then we do a hard eight. Now one of the things I like to do, I'm just gonna pause here for a second, is I take, I like taking the drop off of my hard ways in the six and eight and put them back on the, kind of put them, keep putting them onto the hard six and hard eight. I, I, again, I talk about this all the time. I showed this in Power Access Craps Farms years ago. And a lot of guys picked up on it and used it and they said they made peeling on it. So in other words, this eight that we just took off, that $100 from, from a $600 payout, 700, we go to 1200, this 100 was on the hard eight. Hard eight came the next roll. So there's a thousand bucks. You just made extra for that hundred dollars. Okay. So uh, next roll is okay. So we hit the hard eight. So then that would have paid. Let me make sure I didn't make the progression already. Uh, one eight, two eights, three eights. So we go from one fifty to three. From three to six, that's two. From six, that's twelve. That's no, we hit the hard eight with the hundred dollars on it. Yeah. Okay. So then, my, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting sidetracked here. So that's fourteen hundred. So we're gonna go fourteen. Okay. Fourteen. So we're gonna take that to twenty four hundred. And we have two hundred left dollars left over. Now that would go onto the hard eight as well. So, but in this case, I owe a, a hundred from the rack. So now we only have a hundred. We have a hundred in the profit right now. It's all we're profit. We're up a hundred bucks now. Okay. Next row was another hard eight. So twenty-four hundred dollars pays twenty-eight. We're gonna drop. We don't have two hundred drops. So we're gonna pay twenty-eight. One, two, twenty-five, twenty-eight. Do you see how that hundred dollars? Most likely, most likely, if I had hundred dollars on it and I paid a thousand, I go to two hundred and I collect eight. I hit the hard eight the very next roll. But it also, I took the drop off of the other hard eight and would have put it on. It would have had four hundred on it. See how that just turned into four thousand? Do you see how a hundred bucks just made four grand? And and we're still on it. Now we now we've gone for another for six hundred now. We put two two hundred more on it. Okay. So with that said. Um, I'm gonna get two sidetracked here. We got 24 pays 28. So we're gonna full press this to 45, 46, 47, 48. And this 400 would go on the hard eight. Okay, instead of this here. All right, then we throw a four. We have a thousand on it, pays, pays 2,000. We're gonna full press it to 3,000. Next row is a nine. Nine has. 250 on it, it pays 350, so we're gonna to go to 600. Next roll is a 10 on the end, it pays 2,000, we're gonna to go to 3,000. Next roll is a six, it has 150 on it, it pays 175, it puts us at three and a quarter. We're gonna to go to 300 and collect the quarter. In this case, that quarter would have gone on the hard six, okay? Then we throw the 10 with 3,000 on it, it pays 6,000. We go to five and collect the four. We're at max bet now. Off a $100 bet, we're at max bet on the 10. Okay, then we throw the nine, 600. We're gonna drop 100 and go to 1,500. And then next roll is a three and then an eight. Eight's got 48, that's gonna pay 54. 54. We would go to six, 
collect the rest. All the, everything's right here, let's put it right here. Okay, now that's the 20th roll. This is where you need to make a decision to, to regress. So we would take everything down. Now you know what you're doing in advance. I would have all your chips lined up so you're not stopping the game. So the dealer, you can just give him um, So you just tell the dealer, you go from one, you go from 100 on each number to 500 on each number. You just give the dealer one, two, three. He needs 2,000 more. He gets you four. You give him six. And he just goes just like this. Okay? And now you go 600, just like that. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, ten. 10. 10,000. Two blues. Okay, so where are we at on this roll? One, two, three, four, five, ten. And ten's gonna get me one brown chip. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-two thousand, five hundred, twenty-two thousand, seven hundred and twenty-five, and I'm still in action. Now the next roll is a seven, but you don't know that. But you just reduce, you reduce down to 3,200 across, pull, pull the 20 rolls off, and now you go for 10 hits. You go for 10 hits, and then you pull all that off and you go for five, or 10, 10 presses, sorry. 10 presses. So a 20 roll hand is probably, with a come out roll loss and any type of horns and sevens, might be like a 24, 25 roll hand. Okay, very doable, very doable. You just gotta have the balls to be able to press the bets up. If you're practicing every day and you're working on your shot, you are gonna throw, and you don't have to go, you don't have to go 650 inside, Or 700, 700, and some, um, 700 across, you could go fucking 64 across. Take a zero. Okay, 64 across. So if I, if I remove a zero, I remove a zero from the payout. So what's this pay? If I was to take everything down, let's see what it would have been. We got 20, 22, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20, 25, 5, call it 26,000. That's 2,600 for a $10 bet. So you took 64 across to 2,600. That's great. Then you, then you come back in for maybe, maybe you now go from 64 across, maybe at that point you go, I don't know, uh, go 160 across, something like that, and then restart, okay? Same thing. It's not, it's not rocket science, just figure something out that works for you. So there you go. There is a $30,000 hand, a $20,000 hand here, right? And if I was to pull it all down and just walk away, what is this again? 20, 22, 24, 26, 28,000, 5, 28,000, right? 21, 22, 23, 25, what? 22, 23, 24, 25,507, yeah. Almost, almost 26,000. To walk off the table for 26 grand. I can pay the bills for a little bit. A couple weeks anyway, right? All right, I'm gonna stop the video. And I'm gonna go on to, I'm gonna stop the video, start it again, and, and try another set. With that said, BDC, peace.